Okay, we have always think positive. You are you are an angelic being. Then we have to be mindful of who you trust. These read this reading will um this is overall masculine and feminine energy. This reading may not resonate with you, um, so you have to leave what does not. This could be about you, someone that you're attached to, someone you detach from, different people, um, someone that wants to come towards you, and different people that may be around that person. And um with this always think positive. This could be something like you could be someone that you don't need to think positive about a situation if you're thinking negative or you know negative things could happen when you think positive th positive things could happen so it's like you need to think more positive always think positive about the situation don't let the negative thoughts outweigh the positivity that you need to think the way you need to think to move forward And it says you are an you are an angelic being. Be mindful of who you trust. So King of Swords is here. With this always think positive. Yeah, this King of Swords. Let's see what else? Five of Pentacles. And then judgment is here. Yeah, this could be somebody you cut off. This person is possibly trying to send you negative thoughts. This is somebody that you left out in the cold and they're going through karma. So it's like they want you to think negative. They would, could want people to think negative about you. And it's like you're always in this positive energy. You need to be more positive because this person is trying to send some type of negative energy your way. This is somebody that you cut off and left out in the cold. This is someone that was very low vibrational. And they're experiencing karma. After you cut them off. Yeah. And it's like they want you to hold on to whatever negativity that they took you through. Yeah, so it's like that's why you need to always think positive. Because this person wants you to think negative. They want you to um, hold on to whatever negativity they did to you. Because they're going through karma. After you cut them off and left them out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here to deal with whatever they had and did to you. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here. You are an, an angelic being. And it's like the Wheel of Fortune is here. You have a destiny. You have a purpose. You were destined to do something. This was destined and fated to happen for you to cut this person out. Cut this person off. Yeah, to cut this person off and they, you know, so they can deal with their karma. You you needed to work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles is here. You needed to be by yourself and work. So you can be able to think positive. It's like as you were around this person, you were always like in a negative mindset. This person had you where you, you couldn't think positive. Once you let this person go, you started walking in your destiny. You started walking in your, pers your purpose. You found out you were someone that was um, protected. You're someone that's an um, angelic being. You know, you have control over who you allow around you. And how to guard your energy, protect your energy. You needed to work on yourself more. 
Because you have a call and you have a purpose, you have a destiny. This person was not attached to that. That's why you needed to cut this person off, King of Swords, and detach from that person emotionally. And leave this person at the Five of Pentacles. Because this person was somebody that was not, you know, they were low vibrational. They couldn't go where you were going. They were not attached to your destiny and your purpose and your will of fortune. The will was not going to turn in your favor as you were attached to this person that, you know, they're under judgment. They're going through karma for whatever they had done did. So not only you, this person does this to a lot of different people. As you were attached to this person, you were feeling left out in the cold. You were going through karma. You were under judgment. Once you detached from this person, you were able to think more positive. You detached from the negativity. Now you're realizing your worth. You're realizing you're destined to do different things without this person. That's why you had to get by yourself. Eight of Pentacles is here and start working on you. Working on whatever goals that you have set for your future. Or whatever businesses or, you know, anything that you wanted to do for yourself. And that's your destiny and that's your purpose. This person was detached from that. They could not, you know, they, they weren't allowed to be attached to your Ten of Pentacles. Or your destiny and your purpose. Queen of Pentacles, I mean Queen of Cups is here. With this, um, be mindful of who you trust, Queen of Cups, and then the Empress is here. So it's like you have to be mindful of who you trust. Um, you're someone that's just like this mother, motherly type of energy. Very loving, very caring, very kind. And um, you needed to be mindful of who you, you trust or allow around you. Because people will use you for this. And it's like, as you were in this Queen of Cups energy, very nurturing, very caring very kind-hearted um they you people you know would think that they could use that to get over on you you were someone that was naive or something like that and um yeah you embody every queen in the deck with this empress card being here though so it's like people you know did not know that they would look at you as this queen of cups but they didn't know that you were this empress you can body embody every queen in the deck in the upright position. So yeah, it's like you're you're very abundant. You're manifesting right now. So you have to be mindful of who you allow around you, who you trust. Because you're in this energy where you're, you know, you're manifesting. You're attracting whatever it is that you want. And so you have to be mindful of who you trust and who you allow around you. It could be people that want to come toward you because they want to use you. Yeah, Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And then Eight of Swords is here. These are people that want you to be stuck. These are people that could want you to be stuck on them. Thinking that they can come in quick, have you at the Knight of Wands, doing stuff without thinking, wanting to have sex with you. To try to trap you. Because they see this energy that you're in. So they want to be attached to that. It's seven of wands is here. So whoever this energy is that you um that that is going through karma, everything backfire on this person, this king of swords. This person that you cut off and you left out in the cold, they're going through judgment. Whatever they did to you, it backfires. Seven of wands is here. That's why you need to always think positive. This person is going through their karma for whatever they did to you. And it's like after you cut this person off, you were able to think positive. This person, as you cut them off, they're trying to send negative energy to you so you could think negative because they're in that energy. They're upset because everything backfired onto them. They're stuck in this King of Swords energy, having to defend their self for whatever they did to you. Instead of just going through their judgment, going through their karma, they got behind the scenes and they tried to do something to you. Now they're stuck in an energy where they have to defend their self. You could have been in an energy where you had to defend yourself because of this person after you cut them off. And everything backfired onto them. Two of Cups is here with this you are an angelic being. So yeah, you were destined to, with this will of fortune and eight of swords, 
I mean, eight of um pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> it's like you were destined to, you needed to get out of this situation, cut this person off, let this person deal with whatever they needed to deal with. Because you have a destiny, you have a purpose, you have a will of fortune, you're destined to partner up with someone else. Two of Cups is here. But you needed to work on yourself first. Yeah, because you're, you know, you're supposed to partner up with someone totally different. This is someone that you're destined to partner up with. But you needed to work on yourself because um, whoever this person is that you were attached to, you could have needed to heal, you know, from whatever you went through with that person. And that's how I look at this card. You know, you are an angelic being. You needed to heal. You were destined to do something. You were destined to work with this person. Two of Cups is here. Eight of Pentacles. But you needed to work on yourself first. Be mindful of who you trust. The Sun card is here. Somebody ended up getting exposed. The Sun card is here. Somebody, whoever this energy is, that thought they were going to come in quick, Knight of Wands, have sex with you. They could have thought they were going to place some type of energy onto you. And they can come in quick and have sex with you, take advantage of you. They got exposed. A lot of people are seeing this person for who they are. And these are three different people. This is somebody you cut off in the past. This is somebody that you're um, destined to be with. You're getting ready to partner up with. And then this other energy is someone that is trying to, you know, try to come in quick and have sex with you. Or they thought that they can place some type of energy over you to have you stuck on them. This person could have been playing with spell work and they ended up getting exposed. The sun card is here. Because they see you in this empress energy. They see you in this queen of cups energy. They could have knew that you were in love with somebody else. And they thought they would play some type of spell work over you to try to have you stuck on them and it did not work. Yeah, two of swords is here. This person was blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. They didn't even want people to know they played with spell work. But they ended up getting exposed. Whoever this Knight of Wands energy is. Five of Wands is here. So whoever this energy is that you cut off. This person is. um. This person wanted to send conflict to you. Because a lot of stuff backfired onto them. So they did something, five of wands. This person did something to send conflict to you to try to secretly one-up one up you. And that's why this backfired onto them. As I said, after you cut this person off, they got mad. And it's like they wanted to try to, um, you know, have you feeling like they were. Like sending you negative thoughts and stuff like that. And that didn't work. So they wanted to do something like to send conflict to you. But it backfired. It's like you ended up blocking this person and they got mad. It's like they wanted to fight. Because you blocked this negative energy out. This low vibrational energy. The star card is here. So yeah, whoever this two of cups energy is. Eight of pentacles, will of fortune, you are an angelic being. This is, you needed to heal from this person. The star card is here. You needed to heal and um, so you can have this this partnership two of cups is here with this person and whoever this energy is this is somebody that's not a part of your will of fortune you need to heal that old energy detach from that old energy so you could walk into your destiny with who you're destined to partner up with yeah the star card is here you're someone that's a spiritual, you know, teacher. You're a spiritual healer. You needed to get spiritually awake and just heal. Cleanse yourself. Because you're someone that's protected. That's why everything backfired onto this person when they least expect it. They didn't expect for you to just cut them off. They didn't expect to go through, you know, any karma for what they had and did to you. This person was used to doing stuff to you. They just didn't expect for it to backfire. And it's like they got mad because they could no longer, like you blocked them out. They got upset. Yeah, and whoever this energy is that, that's, <laughs> that wanted to blind people from the truth, this person is, is somebody that's very toxic. 
they they thought that they were going to play some type of lustful energy over you and you would be stuck on them. This is somebody that's possessed, obsessed. They have a lot of bad habits, addictions, different obsessions, different secrets and stuff like that and bind it to a lot of bad karmic debt. They don't want people to know this. This person is someone that is very toxic. As I said, they were playing with some type of spell work and they wanted people to be at the two of swords blinded from the truth. Yeah. This person literally thought they would have you stuck on them. King of Cups is here. And then the Moon card is here. This could be somebody that's secretly in love with you. Yeah. So it's like you have to be mindful of who you trust. Whoever this energy is could be somebody that's secretly in love with you. And they've been they've been in love with you for a long time. And they've been keeping it hidden with this moon card. Or they could be attached to somebody that they knew was secretly in love with you. And they thought that they could, you know, play some type of lustful energy over you. And they would um, have you stuck on them. And, you know, people would be blinded from the truth. They could have tried to blind this love interest from the truth. Yeah. Whoever this person is that's in love with you. Yeah, this person plan was to, to get you pregnant. And they thought that you would be obsessing over them, possessed over them, or something like that. Did not work. This person was at the two of swords, blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about, and they ended up getting exposed. Yeah, king of wands in the reverse. Whoever this person is that you cut off, they were a king of wands in the reverse. This is somebody that was not confident, low vibrational, always competitive, always trying to secretly one-up this person or secretly one-up that person, always had conflict, drama, fights, arguments going on. That's why you just blocked this person out. This person was somebody that would sleep with anybody because they didn't have any confidence. This person was a low vibrational type of energy and they wanted to keep you vibing low or have you in a low vibrational state so they can keep, you know, keep where it, it would be like you're enabling them and they're comfortable doing whatever they were doing in this low vibrational state. Yeah, that's why you need to block this, needed to block this person out. Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, it's like you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, very self-sufficient, single, abundant, with this you are an um, angelic being, the star card, two of cups, eight of Pentacles, and then Will of Fortune. Yeah. Once you healed from whatever this person had and took you through, it's like you're self-sufficient. You became very successful. You're more mindful of what you give your time, your money, your energy to in, in your body. And it's like now you're saving yourself for commitment after going through so much. You know your worth. Yeah, you're someone that's celibate. And it's like you're at the nine of pentacles going straight into the ten of pentacles. Successful business owner. Very single, sufficient, abundant. You're a boss. And it's after you detach from this person. And it's like, as you were attached to this person, you were always the one that would think positive. This person would like to bring negativity around you. That's why you needed to detach from this person to realize your worth. To realize who you are as a person. You're destined for something. You're destined to do something. That's why you needed to work on yourself so you could know and be able to heal so you can be able to partner up with the person or people that you're destined to be around. Yeah. And then just be mindful of who you trust. Yeah. Yeah. Four Swords is here. And Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person could be in isolation or something like that.
This person could have wanted you isolated from people. They could have wanted you isolated from your family. They could have wanted you isolated from everybody that you know, people that show love to you. This person was that desperate. It's like they figured if they play some type of spell work over you, they will isolate you from everybody that you love, everybody that show love to you, and you will only think about them. You will be in this illusion confused, and it did not work. Yeah, Herman Carr in the reverse. Yeah, this is sad. This person could not isolate you from anyone. It's like you only, people only do what you allow. So it's like this person didn't get that. You could have allowed, I don't, it's like, as I said, you only, people only do what you allow. This person could have thought that they, you know, just could do anything to you because you were this queen of cups or you were someone that was naive and it did not work. This person didn't know that they were naive. As they were sitting back secretly thinking that they can do whatever they wanted to you. This person is realizing they could not isolate you from anyone. The Herman is here. Only you could isolate yourself from different people. This person did not get that. Three of Wands is here. And Four of Cups is here. So with this, um, you know, this person that you cut off. You made a decision to reject this person and left this person feeling insecure. This person was dealing with some type of insecurities. Like as you were around this person, this person was, you know, you felt rejected. You felt insecure. And it's like you needed to wake up to, you know, you needed to heal and wake up and reject this person. So you could, you know, yeah, this person was somebody that was draining. You needed to block this person. It's like you made a decision to reject this person. Yeah. People just don't understand how God works. It's like you go through so much. You don't know why you're going through it. But then you stand up and you start, you know, healing, loving yourself. Asking God to help you, help guide you out of whatever the, uh, trials or tribulations that you, you know, were facing or going through. And this is what this was. You trusted in God to get you out of this situation. And you rejected this person. You started healing, started cleansing, working on yourself. Working on whatever it is that you want out of life. And you became very abundant. Nine of Pentacles is here. Self-sufficient. Independent. Yeah. All because you chose to heal. It's like you only go through or people will only take you through what you allow. You had to realize that you were allowing this. You were enabling this. And you needed to heal. You did that. And it's like, once you healed, here come this person. Here come another individual. <laughs> trying to sit back and secretly elude you or confuse you. To get to, to have you stuck on them. It's like you haven't just got out of this toxic situation. You're healing. You're cleansing. You're getting ready to partner up with people that are like-minded like you. People that are destined to be with you or be around you. People that you are destined to be around. People that will only match your energy. Here come this person trying to confuse you. And this was somebody that was attached to someone that was in love with you. They knew that you were in love with that person as well. This could be this Two of Cups energy. Somebody that you were supposed to partner up with. This person needed to be mindful of who they trusted. And that's who this energy is over here. This is somebody that was attached to someone that you're supposed to partner up with. They had feelings for you. You had feelings for that person. But this person kept that hidden. Somebody knew about these feelings. 